YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, all right? I know why you guys are here. It's a no-brainer. I know why you're here. You're here to talk. <laughs> no. You're here to listen to me talk about that smell good. That's what I get for trying to be cool, man. Y'all know you guys are here to listen to me talk about that smell good, all right? So hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully everybody is cool. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my first timers as well. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Everything's going great for you and your family and your loved ones. Everybody's safe. Um, making money you know everything is good okay um so today man you know we're here to talk about cheapies all right i know you guys love them and this video was inspired by, by someone who actually hit me uh on my email they didn't leave it in the comments one of my subscribers sent me an email say hey man you run across any cheapies lately like any new cheapies or whatever and i was like man okay yeah because you know to be real with you you know I don't know. I want to say maybe half, maybe half of my collections. No, not half. A little less than half is cheapies. All right, it's stuff that I found in Marshalls, Ross, uh, Burlington Coat Factory, you know, TJ Maxx, etc. All right, so I said, yeah, I, I got some new cheapies that I haven't uh, brought to the channel yet. So let's do it today. All right. So what's a cheapie? What is a cheapie? Okay. Well, cheapie is, in my opinion, anything that is. $40 and below. I right? could stretch it to $45, but I'm gonna go with $45 and below is a cheapie. Man, where can you find these cheapies? Well, you can find them on discounters, but if you're somebody like me who likes to hunt, who likes to get out and, and hit the streets and hit your local Ross and your Burlington and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and see what you can grab, that's a lot of fun to me. All right, matter of fact, I'm going to be doing that today after I finish up this video uh, for you guys. All right, and if I find some, of course, I'll bring it to the channel. All right, but in the last couple of weeks, I have stumbled in Ross, and matter of fact, all of these have came from Ross. I've stumbled in Ross looking for some stuff for maybe my son, uh, or I don't know. I probably was doing something, and uh, of course, you got to go by the Cologne and see what they got. And I've looked up. I've always walked up, and I've seen something that I've heard about, something that I've been eyeing, and I just picked it up. All right, so let's get into it. I got five different ones today. We're not gonna get too much into the note breakdown, the performance, um, just gonna just, basically first impressions for all of these. Um, I have worn them all, so I know what they do, but I haven't sat with them enough to do a full review, and who knows, maybe we'll, you know, we'll get one of those out. Well, look at looking at it, three for sure you're gonna get a full review because i think i'm gonna be wearing these during the fall all right so here we go we got five different ones let's go ahead and kick it off for number one all right first up man we got from the house of abercrombie and fitch we have first instinct extreme all right first instinct extreme now they have the name of the fragrance right there as well i don't know if i can yeah that's very nice i like that all right so right off the top And I just realized something with this, but we'll get that in a second. So, you know, right off the top, man, you get this uh, fruity, ambery type accords type notes in here. They have the star fruit note in here, which is a, you know, huge fan. Of course, you got that in uh, Versace Mano Fresh. And then you have that in, in um, uh, the St. Kitts from Tommy Bahama as well. Um, but it is using this fragrance as well. But they do have a different type of note in here, coconut milk. All right, um, that is listed and I, you can smell it. Now this one is interesting because you do get this tropical, sweet, slash, dense, warm, spicy type fragrance all in one. And to me through the atomizer, you know, it, it, it's very, uh, mm, it's very mesmerizing, all right? Um, I wore this a couple of times, and once I wore it to work, and another time I was out and about, and it just smelled good, and it has really good performance for Amber Carmi and Fitch. Now, people who have First Instinct Blue, and uh, the original First Instinct, you know, I've been told they don't last that long, I don't have neither one of those fragrances, so I was quite weary of getting this, but I can tell you this, this stuff lasts. I mean, I got about a good seven, hours of projection a good two hour excuse, seven hours of longevity good two hours of projection nice scent trail siage was going with this here i paid 18 dollars for this in ross this is a 3.4 100 ml bottle and i really like this stuff and like i said this is going to be probably one of my not probably it's going to be one of my go-to fragrances for you know work and just something to throw on if I need to make run some errands or do something uh, of that nature. Um, but for 18 bucks, I mean, you got a nice, 
unique type of fragrance. Like I said, you do get this this fresh, spicy, um, tropical, ambery type deal here with that star fruit note and that coconut milk note. It really makes something very pleasant, almost mouth watering. All right, so. If you guys see this, I would highly recommend you picking this up. I really enjoy this stuff and I'm gonna be wearing it a lot. So first up today, like I said, from the house of Amber, Crowley and Fitch, you got First Instinct Extreme. And by the way, this is a EDP. Yes, this is an EDP Oedipal Form Concentrations. I didn't even realize that till, I think like the second or third time I walked, I was like, man, this it's not giving off uh, at a toilet vibe. It's not giving off EDT vibes. And I flipped over the bottle and I didn't even look at it when I bought it. I just saw it and um, I looked up the Noso for Grand School and I was interested in it. So yeah, this is an EDP concentration, 18 bucks. Don't mind if I do, all right? All right, up next we have from the house of Lacoste, we have Lacoste Loam, all right? Lacoste Loam, wow. I really, really like this stuff. I really like it. So, you know, you, you look it up and you know, you see the rhubarb note and you're like, yeah, ugh, rhubarb, it can go either way. Now, um, rhubarb has been best used in my opinion, well, not my opinion, from what I've heard and, and you know, from uh, watching other reviewers and just people in general who love fragrances and they use it very well in the, um, uh, the Johnny Varvato's uh, vintage, all right? And I have smelled that and I have it on the way. <laughs> and I have it on the way. And when I saw the rhubarb in here mixed with this orange accords, um, you have uh, some almond in here, um, some some floral intakes as well. I was very intrigued, some vanillas in here as well. And um, I like this stuff a lot. To me, this is a perfect, this is a perfect, nice fall day scent. Now this is versatile. You can wear this to the office. You can wear it out and about. Um, you can even wear this in the summer evenings. You can wear this in the spring as well. I just think it's multi-versatile. And, um, you know, for what I got this for in Ross, once again, I was in there looking for something for my son and walked by and I caught this and it was $24.99, 100 ml bottle, EDT concentration. Um, that Monday following, it was the weekend when I got it. Um, that Monday, woke up for work and I decided to wear this. I've worn this twice and I really enjoyed it. Um, the reviews are here and there for this one. I think the rhubarb thing, a lot of people, some people are for it. Either, you, either look, with the rhubarb, either you don't like it or you're not. Well, this is blended pretty good. Yes, it's synthetic, but once it dries down, it's gonna give you a nice, pleasant smell. Um, longevity is solid on here. You're gonna get six to seven hours longevity, about a good hour and a half projection. It's gonna leave a nice sillage bubble for you. Um, you can overspray on this, you're not gonna offend anybody. So from the house alone, excuse me, from the house of Lacoste, you got Lacoste loan, all right? Now they do have a Lacoste loan Intense. Uh, they do have that, but uh, you know, it's basically the same note breakdown, but they say it just lasts a little longer. So you can look into that. And if I can find a leak, I'll drop it down below, just like everything else to talk about today. All right, let's go ahead and move it along. Now this one right here, I love this one. And it's not for the reason that you might think. All right, so from the house of Hugo Boss, we have Reversed. All right, we have Reversed by Hugo Boss. Now it's funny because on camera it's Hugo, but the other way on camera it's not. It's the, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all can look it up, it's Reversed. When I first got this one, I wore it, um, I think I wore it right out the shoot, man. Um, and I really enjoyed it. You have this grapefruit, this bergamot in here, mixed in with some Haitian vetiver. And kind of, you know, kind of makes me nervous a little bit because vetiver is kind of hit and miss. So when you add in Haitian vetiver, which is a little bit more stronger type vetiver, when you mix it in here with the citrus, it's it's nice. And right off the rip, it don't not, look, look, our first smell, you do get, let me make sure no one's listening. You do get Aventus vibes. Just quick, it's real quick. It's not an Aventus clone. It's not Aventus like, but I'll first spray out the atomizer into the air on your skin. You do kind of get this citrusy, uh, birchy type smell coming out of this one here, but it definitely goes away very, very quickly. So once again, this is not a Aventus clone. This is not Aventus, no it's not. You just get it for about a quick 10 seconds 
and then the fragrance starts to develop uh, on its own. But like I said, that grapefruit in here, that bergamot in here with that Haitian vetiver, it's very, very delightful. I, I like it a lot. And honestly, this just, this, just, this has turned into a throw on. Like I wore this to the gym, running errands, fresh out the shower if I want to smell something and get aromatherapy going on on myself. I'll, I'll throw this on. Um, at first I was gonna wear it to work, but I said, nah, man, like, you know, this is an everyday thing for me. So this is a 75 ml uh, bottle right here that I got from Ross, all right? And I believe I paid, I think it was $15.99. Yeah, it was like $15 or $18.99 what I paid for. So the cap is interesting, it kind of twists off and it kind of dangles around like that. Um, but this stuff, I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much that it just turned into that everyday throw on. If I'm, like I said, running to the gym, running some errands, or even if I'm fresh out the shower and I want to walk around the house and get some aromatherapy going off my skin. So I'd encourage y'all to look into this. It's very light, uh, aromatic type fragrance, a uh, little spice, a little bit in here, uh, but definitely that citrus is bursting out and then you get that vetiver and it's blending in. Not many notes and accords in this thing, but it's good. It's really good, all right? So like I said, I paid, I think it was like $15, $16 for this and uh, I enjoyed it a lot, all right? All right, next up on the list, we have a clone, 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 all right? So as you know, I dropped my clone video or you know, I'd explain you know, my thoughts and my process on clones and I have one here. So many, many moons ago, um, my uh, for my birthday, I got uh, the Invictus when it first came out. All right, I got the two, I think it was a 200 ml bottle, a 150, that was the first one out to shoot. And it lasted me many, many years. And that was the first one and I always wore it. I wore it, I wore it, I wore it. So I was in one of the stores uh, in my local mall and he said that he had a, I was, I'm running low, well, it's gone now, of my Invictus, um, uh, Paco Rabanne Invictus, the original. I'm running low on it, it's gone. It's like maybe two sprays left. And I walked into one of the stores in the mall where you know a guy has his own little fragrance shop and he said, hey, check this clone out. It smells exactly like it. I said, okay, so I checked it out and it smells 100% just like, um, Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Now we already know about you know, Invictus Aqua and all these other things. I'm talking about the original, the first one that came out. So what I have here today from the house of Armoff, we have Aura. All right, Aura from the house of Armoff. All right, now the presentation in the bottle, this thing absolutely sucks. It's a weak magnetic cap. It barely goes on. It's plastic and it's flimsy. The bottle is not <laughs> that nice to me at all, but what's inside of here is good. This is 100% a dead, dead, dead on uh, Invictus. It is. So this is something that I wear to work, no brainer. You don't need a lot. It's the EDP concentration. And I paid 18 bucks for this. 18 bucks off Amazon. That's how much I got it for because he didn't have it in the store. So I said, okay, I'll look for it. He told me to come back like Sunday or something like that. I ain't come back. I just went on Amazon and there it was for 18 bucks and I purchased it. All right, so I put my dad onto this as well because he was on the Invictus train and he couldn't believe it. So you get you a couple sprays of this, you're gonna be good to go, identical. Uh, to Invictus by Paco Rabanne and you won't be disappointed. You'll save a couple dollars. You won't have to, you know, spend all kinds of money. If you got 18 bucks, you can get this clone right here and it'll get the job done. You know, I definitely only wear Invictus to work anyway. Like, I don't wear it nowhere else, all right? I think it's a good office fragrance. If you mildly spray, if you overload, they're gonna probably report you to the, to your boss or something like that because you're choking the office out. All right, so you can get that one and I'll have the link below. All right, last but not least, on recent cheapy pickups, we have something that really stunned me. It really surprised me. I knew about it. It's not breaking news. I've seen it all the time, but I gotta give uh, Darren, the bow tie guy, um, his props on this because he was talking about it in a way where I was like, man, I'm not tripping. You look up the notes and you know, you you don't read the best about this one, but when I picked it up, I wore it and I've been wearing it and I said, man, I wish I would have got this earlier from the house of Burberry. We got Burberry Touch, man. We got Burberry Touch, all right? Now this is an OG fragrance, but this stuff is good. Look, powdery, musky, 
type fragrance you know got some vanilla in here got some citrus notes in here as well but at the end of the day powdery musk sweet that's what you get that sweet powderiness from the tonka bean vanilla and then you get that musk in here as well i like it a lot a lot i like this a lot and this is another versatile fragrance for the office for the summer for the spring the fall you can wear this pretty much all year round it's very fresh clean type of scent uh, a zonic aromatic type scent um and it's going to be pleasing it really is now you can overspray on this because it's not going to offend anyone but coming out that atomizer man it smells tremendous. So I really enjoy this stuff a lot. I caught this from Ross for 20 bucks. This is a 100 ml bottle, 3.3 ounces, uh, EDT concentration, but the projection is good. You get a good 67 hours on project, uh, excuse me, a good 67 hours of longevity, about a good two hours of projection, and it's definitely gonna leave a nice scent bubble. No doubt about it, all right? So I have gotten compliments on this when I have worn this to work, and uh, it's something that I'm gonna keep close. Um, to me, you know, you, if you can find something that's versatile and something that you can wear on the regular, you don't have to worry about it, that's great if you have that in your collection. I have quite a few of those. And I just talked about one of them or two of them for sure with the Hugo Boss Reverse and the Lacoste uh, Loam. But this one right here is right there with them and compared to a lot of other stuff I got. So again, if you're looking for something that's fresh, you know, if you're into that powdery scent, uh, vanilla, you know, some nice musk into it, blending in, hey, you might want to look into this one, all right? Burberry Touch. I might be late to the party, all right? I just might be late to the party, but hey, I'm glad I finally arrived to the party, <laughs> all right? All right, man, so those are my recent cheapy pickups, five recent cheapy pickups. Someone asked, I'll put out the video, links will be down below. I think the most expensive one on here is like right at $30, I think it was. Yeah. I think the Lacoste loan was like right at $30, like $25.99 or something like that, but everything else was below. All right, so links will be down below, like I said. Y'all check them out. Any questions, leave comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. Appreciate all the love and support as always. I really enjoy what I do here, and I'm glad that you guys enjoy it and you guys are coming back to watch uh, every time I drop a video, all right? So y'all be cool, y'all be safe, and I'll see you on the next fragrance video, all right?